Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning how to customize our GIMP interface. This will allow us to create custom workspaces that best fit our current project. After loading up GIMP, this is what my interface looks like. Yours may differ slightly. We have the toolbox dock to the left, with a smaller dock beneath it, and a couple more docks on the right side that house various tabs. And our projects are visible near the top of our interface. We will go over how to customize these sections later in this lesson. I have my interface set to single window mode, which places everything in one window, so you don't have to constantly move around different dialog boxes. You can toggle single window mode by going up to Windows, down to single window mode. One thing that I love about this mode is that our projects are displayed near the top of the interface. You can easily tab through projects and close projects by clicking the X. One of my most asked questions has to be about the tool icons and theme of my interface. To access these options, Go up to Edit on a PC or File on a Mac, down to Preferences. We are going to focus on the interface group. First, let's look at Theme. Under here we have four options. These will change the overall color of GIMP. I have mine set to Dark, but you can select any of these options here to change the color. Next, Icon Theme. Here we can change the appearance of the toolbox icons. I prefer the old versions of the icons, but you can easily select the newer appearances here. Now let's go down to Toolbox. These are my current settings for my toolbox. One important option is Use Tool Groups. I have this unchecked so I can see all the available tools. But if you check this, you can see the toolbox icons decrease because now they are sorted by groups. To look within a group in your toolbox, click and hold on one of the tools that has a small arrow in the bottom right hand corner. From there, you can select the tool. This window here in the options shows you the organization of tools into groups and allows you to customize which groups hold which tools. You can create a new group by clicking this folder icon and you can drag tools into different groups by clicking and dragging. Again, I simply uncheck this option because I like having all the tools displayed. Now that we have gone over the basics, let's look at how we can organize our interface. The GIMP interface is made up of various docs. Notice how these three docs all have different tabs. The Toolbox doc contains tool options, device status, and history. We can add new tabs to this dock by clicking the square with an arrow in it near the top right hand corner of the dock and selecting Add Tab. Here we get a list of tabs we can add to this dock. I want to add the Colors dialog. And now this tab will be added to this dock. We can click through tabs by simply clicking on their icon. To get rid of a tab, select it. Then click on the square with the triangle again and select Close Tab. You can also move tabs around by clicking and dragging. You can do this confined to docks or drag a tab from one dock to the other. As you click and drag a tab around, notice how the cursor behaves when mousing over an edge of a dock. 
If we drag this tab to the very bottom of the right dock, a blue line is visible, which becomes brighter when we connect with the bottom edge. If I release this tab on the bottom edge, the tab now creates a new section you can customize with more tabs. You can do this on all sides of the docks in GIMP. The edges you can move to will be highlighted in blue. I prefer to have my docks cascade vertically instead of adding docks to the left and right. Because it keeps my interface looking clean and allows more space for the center section. Notice as I put this tab to the left of this previous dock, notice how it eats into our project space. The size of the docks can also be customized. As I hover between separators of docks, you'll notice my cursor change to two lines and arrows. This lets us know that we can edit the size of these docks at this point. I can edit the size of docks both in height and in width. And that's it. You now know how to customize your interface in GIMP. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Help support GuruGal by making a donation or sharing this video. Link in the description. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.